A lending library, but in Snohomish County, it's not books on a shelf, it's robots in the field. We are using soil moisture sensors, and then we also have soil optics. You won't find books here, but you can borrow tech that cuts down on labor and gets straight to work. No fees, just smarter farming. AI is being used for us as consumers to improve our lives, and subsequently there's no reason it can't be done on farms as well. It's all part of the Snohomish County Ag Tech Program, a first of its kind initiative with four big goals. Mapping differences in soil quality using high tech sensors, tracking moisture in real time to help farmers fine tune irrigation, hands on training for the next generation of ag workers and a collection of high tech tools farmers can check out and put to work for free. Like the Burrow Grande. At Swan's Trail Farm, Nate Krause and his workers are using it in the apple orchard. They could cut and then throw it in here rather than using the wheelbarrow the whole time. This robot isn't just tagging along, it's transforming farm work. It can carry up to a thousand pounds and tow up to 5,000. The tech comes from Innovate Ag. These are really designed to be multi-purpose vehicles. Founder and CEO Steve Mantle steer. partners with Snohomish County to get it into farmers' hands. Your tax dollars are at work to help these smaller to medium-sized growers to be able to thrive and pass things on to the next generation uh, and facilitate adoption of technology and putting AI to work, including education around that, makes a lot of sense. The program launched in 2020 with COVID-19 funds, but now it's funded by a $600,000 grant from the Washington State Department of Ecology. Linda Nunzig oversees agriculture for the county, and she's a farmer too. If we can bring in something to make life easier, to make it more efficient, to be able to help people, then we're gonna do it. She hopes this model spreads statewide and beyond. But it provides data and technology that we didn't know we needed. With a shrinking farming workforce, we can't find help anymore. This tech isn't just nice to have, it's becoming a necessity for survival. So being able to do something like this helps that bottom line. Take apples, for instance. Labor makes up more than half of the production costs. In apples is a great example of it. They are losing money for every bin that is picked. The big thing we face is labor. It is our highest cost. And so with a lot of this technology we've implemented, our goal is, is to be more efficient and precise um, in, in everything we do as far as farming goes. That's why Krause offered up his farm as a test site. Since we've been doing this, I've learned a lot of different things about technology. It's allowed us to you know, really advance our orchard in particular, our fields and, and what we have here. And if it works here, it goes into the library for other farmers to borrow. I feel very lucky to be the person who they bring all this stuff to and say, hey, what do you think of this? Please try it out in your orchard or please try it out in your farm. Give us feedback and, and see. There's been a number of things that haven't worked, and once they do work, and if they do work, then they go and they get passed off through the farmers in the Snohomish Valleys. For Environment Northwest, I'm Bridget Chavez.